Hello Grade 11s, welcome back to Async Accounting. I am so excited to be with you guys once again. It is almost that time of the year where there's a lot of panic and anxiety <clears throat> because we are looking at the exams. Okay, so this is November 2022 that was written in the Free State Province and this is Paper 1. But what I want us to focus on is just um, the fixed assets the fixed asset note on this question two right so um here it was on question 2.2 that's what i'm basically going to focus on i promise you i'm not gonna bore you with a long video <clears throat> because i know most of you don't like um those long videos where you sit and then you probably most going to fall asleep so tonight make sure you're not falling asleep so here we're looking at mock-up traders you are provided with information taken from the books of mock-up traders with partners Mokoatsi and K Gabi on the 28th of Feb 2022. So now from here, we know that our year began on the 1st of March 2021. So this will help when we are going to determine our timeline. And then we are required to prepare the following notes. So the notes that we're focusing on on this video today is the fixed asset notes because I know it usually um, gives some of you nightmares so here we're given this day uh what's this information extract out of the pre-adjustment trial balance on the 28th of feb 2022 so we'll come back to this just in um, at any point in time if there's any information that we need but i doubt then let's move on to um, additional information a okay so here we are dealing with the fixed assets i think this is the only set of information that we're going to need so additional notes and information a, we're going to have our fixed assets there. So we have three fixed assets, uh, land and buildings, vehicles and equipment. And then there's also some information that we are going to read there, right? So um, what we are calculating is from A, B, C, D, and E. So there's five things that we're going to easily calculate so that we are going to uh, get all the full marks, okay? So the first things first, A, as you can see, we're looking at land and buildings. Let's see what they say about land and buildings just down here. So land and buildings during the year, a new storeroom was built. So that's the only thing that they're telling us about land and buildings. Remember, land and buildings do not depreciate. So here, there was only an addition of 375,000. So therefore, you're just going to calculate the cost at the end. All right, so that's nice and easy. You're going to take your 550,000. Okay. So this is 550,000 plus the 375,000. And let me just quickly see what that is. 375, and that should be 925,000. Then we have our answer. That's an easy two marks, All right? So make sure you get the easy marks and you work, uh, make sure that you also work fast. So now let's move back. Okay, we have B. When you're looking at B, um, we're looking at vehicles. Now we're moving, we're changing. So we're looking at vehicles and we're going in alphabetical order. Now we, we're going to calculate B. If you're looking at the column on B, uh, or the column of vehicles, sorry, what we need to calculate is additions because if you look at B, these are our additions. Right? So we need to determine how much additions were, um, or how many, how, how much worth of, of vehicles did we acquire in this current year at cost of course so here as you can see there were no disposals so if there's no disposals that makes our calculation way much easier because if you have the cost at the end and the only thing that we did in terms of movement was only depreciation and additions what we're simply going to do is just have our additions here remember the additions are at cost right so what we can simply do is take the seven hundred and twenty thousand then we're going to subtract the cost at the beginning so that we can be able to get our additions. That is 480,000. And then let's just calculate 480. And then that is 240,000. Right. So that's the 240. We're going to include it here because there's still some other amounts that we need to calculate. So putting the 240 there will be useful in calculating either C or D. We don't know where. Right, so from here, we have our addition. So remember that the case might be different if you have any disposals, 
okay if you have any disposals you might need to remove the cost of those disposals but the, uh, that is not the case uh, in this question because we didn't have any disposals okay hopefully that was clear and you're able to understand and then um the information on vehicles we we were told actually that a new vehicle was purchased when on the 1st of june 2021 so the importance of this date is going to help us when we're calculating depreciation remember we're going to apportion the depreciation for the number of months that we have used this new vehicle then we are further told that depreciation on vehicles is calculated at 20 percent per annum on cost so it's 20 percent per annum on the cost so don't forget okay don't make a mistake we're only calculating it on the cost right so that is uh leading us to the calculation of depreciation on c so let's take this to our answer book so for the first one our calculation was just like this okay i don't know what's happening here but let's work so it's 720 plus 720 minus 480 and then that gave us 240 years so that's 240 another easy calculation now one thing that you need to remember with your depreciation you had two types of vehicles you had new vehicles you had old right so the old you use them for 12 months okay let's just make sure this looks nice and clean 12 months and then now when you look at the new vehicle you purchased it on the 1st of june 2021 so let's draw ourselves a timeline so that we can be able to see what is actually going on right so this is the 1st of march 2021 this is the beginning of our year april may june july august september october november december jan feb so this is our year end jan december november october September, August, July, June, May, April. Nice. Then from there, uh, we go to the 1st of June. This is where we are going to start. 1st of June, let's calculate how many months we used it for. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 months. So that means we're going to depreciate it for 9 out of the 12 months. All right. So here, have 9 months. Now let's apply. We know that the depreciation is 20% on cost. So the cost for the new, we said it was 240. So this 240 that we just calculated, multiplied by the 9 over 12 months. Then for the old, it was 20% multiplied by, the cost for the old was still the 480 that we started with at the beginning of the year. And then let's calculate our total depreciation. So these two are going to add them. 20% times 240 times 9 over 12 plus 20% times 480. Oops, I made a mistake. Okay, 12 plus 20% times uh, 480. Okay, that should be giving us an amount of 132,000. I've got it. So that's 132,000 worth of depreciation for our vehicles. Let's just go put that onto that document we had there. Okay, so here, this is 132 of depreciation. Then now we're going to calculate the carrying value at the end. Okay, this should be fairly easy. Uh, there's actually two methods to calculate the carrying value at the end. Remember what the purpose of the fixed asset note is is to reconcile your carrying value at the beginning to your carrying value at the end so you need to determine what the movements in between those two things are so the movements you know it's additions it's depreciation and and disposal so yeah it's, it's additions disposals and depreciation so if you take your carrying value at the beginning right so you're going to take carrying value at the beginning of 105,000 for vehicles we're calculating d now by the way and then you are going to your additions. We had plus 240,000. And then you're going to subtract the depreciation of 132,000. Okay. And then from there, um, because we didn't have any disposals, we just leave it like that. Then let's try and calculate what our uh, carrying value at the end should be. 240 
minus 132 and then that gives us 213,000 okay so this is method one now let's look at method two okay method two what others could have done differently they could have taken this depreciation and added it to the accumulated depreciation at the start so that they can actually get the accumulated depreciation here let me just clear this up so it can be clear so one person could have determined the accumulated depreciation here then take this cost and subtract the accumulated depreciation to get your carrying value at the end so that's that's another way you can do it so let's do it you take the 375 plus the 132 okay this is accumulated depreciation at the end so 132 plus 375 that gives us 507,000 so the 507,000 right here and then if you take that that should also be giving us 213,000 all right so let's take this into our working i'm just going to copy and paste this so that we can have it in our answer book okay all right now let's work okay then from there so this is the 213 that we had Then now we're going to calculate E, so which is the last bit uh, that we have to calculate. Okay, so for E, uh, this is on our equipment side. For the equipment, we are given the extract from the fixed register from, from the fixed assets register of equipment sold. Okay, this is very important. This equipment below that you're seeing, it was sold. Okay, then from here. Uh, let's look at the information. It was purchased on the 1st of March 2019 and the date sold the 1st of September 2021. So this is when your depreciation stops. All right. So this is when your depreciation stops. Okay. So we are told that it was sold for 48,700. So usually what most learners could do they would simply take the 48,700 and put it in as a disposals for e but that is incorrect because for disposals at um on our ppe note it is at the carrying value okay so disposals are always recorded at the carrying value so here what we need to calculate is our carrying value our carrying amount okay so we're also told that depreciation is 10 percent per annum and then here we're given the table to easily calculate what our depreciation per year is so that we can be able to calculate the accumulated depreciation. Now let's start here. Uh, on 29 Feb 2020, this was the year end after it was it was bought. So the cost was 60,000 and the depreciation was uh, 6,000 6, for that year and the book value was 54,000. So what they simply did was take the, 6, the 60,000, subtract the 6,000, then get 54,000. Now things change because we are using the diminishing the diminishing balance method and it's a 10% per annum. Now how do we approach this? So what you're going to do first, you're going to take the book value. Remember now we, we want to determine the depreciation here, right, on the second year. So our cost remains the same at 60,000. Now when we, cal we calculate depreciation, we're going to start with the carrying amount. That we already have here okay don't be confused multiplied by 10 percent because this is the carrying amount or carrying value should i say and then let's determine the depreciation times 10 percent that's 5400 and then it goes here now one mistake you would do is take this 60,000 and subtract the 5400 that would also be incorrect because you are moving from 54,000 minus 5400 then determine your remaining uh your what's this your carrying value so it's 54000 minus 5400 then your carrying value is 48600 this is your carrying value that we are going to use to calculate so here it was 48600 so remember 
this is the current financial year so first of september 2021 is where we, when we are selling um this uh machine the the, the zero 3d scanner okay then from there let's work this out we have 48,600. we know that we are going to multiply it by 10 percent but okay let's go back to our timeline and determine how many months we used it for we used it for, since the first of march let me do this in red we used, we used it since the first of march up until the first of september so we used it for one two three four five six we are not going to include september because it has not been a full month of september it was only at the beginning of the month so if it's at the beginning of the month we do not include that month so it's for eight thousand six hundred multiplied by ten percent multiplied by six over 12 then let's determine the current year depreciation okay 10 percent times 6 over 12 then that's 2430 <clears throat> all right 2430 goes in here now let's determine our accumulated depreciation and how do we do that we're just going to simply add the 6000 plus 5400 okay this looks like a division let me actually remove this line <clears throat> 5400 plus 2430 okay then 6000 plus 5000 okay 5400 plus 2430 so that's 13830 this is our accumulated depreciation remember to get your carrying value you're going to take your cost minus accumulated depreciation so our cost was sixty thousand from what we were given here then our accumulated depreciation which is calculated as thirteen thousand eight hundred and thirty all right uh, now it's thirteen eight thirty then that should give us a carrying amount of forty six one seventy so that's forty six thousand one hundred and seventy now if you are asked what was the profit then this is the selling price this is the carrying value so we sold it at a price higher than what it, it is worth so you take the 48,700 minus the 46,170 so that's me going an extra stretch in the case where you were asked what was the profit but in this case on the PPE note what we are looking for is just basically this amount of 46,170 uh, which I'm just going to write here I mean we already have the workings so we would have shown them there so this is the 46,170 now, in a short space of time, you would have gotten yourself 18 full marks, and that should be it with the fixed asset notes. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was useful. Don't forget to support the channel by liking, subscribing, and dropping a comment on any other accounting topics that you might need help with. All the best with your exams, and see you in the next video. Cheers.